Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're gonna to figure out why this garage door opener isn't working. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. Have you ever gone to close your garage door and it stops and then reverses? Well, by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to do to fix that. Okay, first things first, this garage is a mess. Look at all the debris over there. So anyway, I'm gonna hit the garage door and it goes up fine. The issue is when you go to close it, it'll stop and come back up or won't even go at all. And there's the blinker. So we've got an issue here. So this other garage door works fine. And if we look at the sensors, each sensor has a light on it. One supplies power, telling the unit has power, and the other says that the sensors see each other. So you can see the light is on here. If I put my hand here and block it, the light goes off. The other sensor stays on even when I block it. So this one send, has the power, and the other sensor tells that each one sees each other. So what it thinks is happening is that it thinks there's a, a blockage there. So the garage door opener will open just fine, but it won't close because if, if this light is not on, it thinks that something is blocking it like a child or something, and it won't allow it to close and it'll reverse. Well, on this other door that isn't working, the same thing is happening. And you can see here that this light is kind of flickering. See that? So. This is a nice solid light. This one is flickering. So the first thing I would do is just to check and see that, that the lenses are clear. And there's some crud in there. You can uh, get fancy and get glass cleaner, or you can just use a little spit like me. Let's do this one. You can see this light stays on, so it is the sending unit. All right, let's see. Let's see if it'll close. Nope. So I think I have found the problem here. If you look down at this light, it's just barely flickering on, right? Well, if I take my hand and I realign this unit, watch it brighten up. So I think it's just a matter of the sensors think that there's a blockage and won't allow it to close. So all I need to do really is adjust these sensors so that they can see each other. And uh, that should be it. So I think there's a little wing nut back here. Ouch. Oh yeah, look at that. So I want to get this nice and bright. That looks like that is the same brightness as the other one. So let's see if this sucker will close. Okay, fingers crossed, that's all it was, so here we go. So far, so good. Okay, cool, it worked. So that's all it was, was the sensors were not seeing each other. And some of these things will have different colored lights. So they'll have the same color. This is an old opener, it's got both green. And some won't have lights at all. Uh, but other things you can check for are uh, connections with the wires. The wiring, sometimes when somebody puts in a new opener, they'll just cut these with wire cutters. And uh, instead of using wire nuts, I'll just splice them with black tape and the connection's bad. So check that. And then also, if this is on a rare occasion, but if the sun is shining outside and it's shining right into one of these sensors, it can actually blind the sensor. So in that case, I get a piece of cardboard and I just uh, do a little cardboard cutout about eight inches by eight inches and put it here just to block the sunshine from getting in to the sensor. Well, I got lucky. That was an easy fix. Most of these are easy fixes. A lot of times people will just be sweeping around the sensors and hit it and all of a sudden the garage door doesn't close correctly. But for the most part, these are really easy fixes. You could have something more serious, maybe an issue with the board inside the unit, but that's, that's few and far between. 
Hey, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.